Hello everyone, welcome to Pokroid and my name is Saurabh Kukreja. Uh, today we are going to do day 17 challenge which is a continuation to day 16 challenge. So if you have not watched day 16 challenge, please go ahead and see that. Uh, day 17 challenge, it talks about how we throw the exception, not just catch it. Meaning if your class is, if your class has a method which throws exception or which has a code which may like crash or something so you throw a method so that the calling method like the calling class who is actually calling this specific method gets to handle it on its own so in our day 16 our method handled it whereas in day 17 what we will do is we will throw the exception and then we will let the client handle it on its own so the task over here is simple uh, we have to calculate we have to write a calculator class and we have to add a method power in that which should basically uh, give the result of n is to p meaning n into n into n p times and if any of those is negative we just have to print or throw an exception saying that n and p should be non-negative so let's see how we can do uh, they have already provided us with uh, public static void main method which is having a class calculator so first step for us would be to write a class calculator and in this class we have to define a method power which takes two input parameters so uh, let's say in power is the method name and which takes two parameters int int n and in p right now what we'll first see is so we have to throw the exception so when the method throws it we simply say it over here throws exception or the type of exception that it throws so for simplicity we'll just say throws exception and first step we will do is we will check whether if n is greater than equal to 0 and and p is greater than equal to zero are we supposed to take zeros or no yeah if it's negative that means we can we can expect zero we'll do our operation or else we will throw the exception and what will be the message when we throw the message will be this thing we'll just copy this and paste it over here and now our operation is should be simply if both are negative both are positive I'll say int result equals to 1 and then I'll have a for loop I'll say int i equals 0 i less than p i plus plus simply running a loop p times and I'll say result equals to result into n and I'll just return it that's it let's see if this runs compiles successfully or not but that's the pretty much okay wrong answer uh, oh no with the full stop I guess Yep, that's it. So that's pretty much it about how you can throw an exception so that your calling class automatically hand handles it. So if you can see, this is what we did in our day 16 challenge. And now we are simply throwing an exception. So thank you uh, for tuning in for day 17. Uh, please let me know if there is any challenge that you would like me to solve. I'll be happy to solve that. And please let me know if any if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in guys.